Hello and welcome to another day of GSC at Home. My name is Harriet and today we're going to learn how to make our very own spectroscopes. Now a spectroscope is a tool used by scientists to measure light waves by splitting them up into all their different color components. Just like primary colors that we learn about in art, red, yellow and blue, light has its own primary colors, red, green and blue. These mix up to make all the different colors that we can see. This is called the visible light spectrum. Even white light is made up of all these different colors. The first spectroscope was actually invented by Dr. Robert Bunsen, who also invented the Bunsen burner. He made his spectroscope out of a cigar box, a prism, and broken off eyepieces from telescopes. Now, don't worry if you don't have those lying around your house. We are gonna be making ours today using a cereal box and a blank CD instead. Real spectroscopes use prisms to refract the light and split it up into all its different color components. Just like light reflects off of drops of water in the air to create a rainbow. Instead of a prism, we're going to be using a CD. You might notice that when you tilt a CD around in the light, we can see a rainbow on its surface. That's because the music inside a CD is stored in millions of tiny little grooves on the surface here. And when the light hits it, that light gets bounced around inside those little grooves and creates the rainbow effect that we can see here. So why is it useful to split up light waves into all the different color components using a spectroscope? Well, by doing this, we can actually tell where that light has come from. This is because when light passes through a gas or reflects off a surface, different wavelengths get absorbed. This shows up on our spectroscope as different colors. So if you were looking at a neon sign using a spectroscope, you would see red and green, and that would tell you that the light passed through neon gas before reaching our eyes. Astronomers use spectroscopes in this way to be able to determine what stars or other objects in our night sky are made of. By looking at the colors in the spectroscope, they can determine what elements that light would have passed through to be able to reach the spectroscope. To make our spectroscope, we're going to need a cereal box, a blank CD, a Sharpie or marker, a piece of tin foil, some tape or glue. I'm using duct tape because the dark color will help block out any extra light. We're going to need a ruler and a protractor. If you're like me and you don't have a protractor at home, don't worry, you'll be able to get one online and print it out, stick it to a pack of card, works just fine. We're also going to need to be able to poke some holes in our box, so I'm using scissors with quite a pointy edge. So please make sure you have an adult to help you do this and always be careful when handling scissors. Start by making the viewing window. Make sure that the top of the cereal box is closed. You can do this by folding in the flaps or getting some blue tack to hold it in place. Next, we're going to take our ruler and measure about one inch into the top right hand corner. Using the ruler and your Sharpie, we're going to mark out a three centimeter by three centimeter square all along the top. This is going to be our viewing window right here. Use your scissors to cut out unfolding the flaps and using these black lines that you've made to help guide you to cut out a section for a viewing window. Once we've made our viewing window, it's time to unfold these flaps to make a slot for our CD. So using your protractor, we're going to take this center bit right here and line up with the corner of the box that your viewing window is closest to. I'm then going to find the number 60 because we want this to be at a 60 degree angle. And I'm gonna use my pen to make a mark right here. This mark is about nine centimeters into my box. So I'm gonna make a little line all the way from the 60 degree mark all the way up to the top corner and I'm going to flip the box over and I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. So lining that protractor up, finding 60 and drawing that line all the way 
to the top left hand corner. So you can see I've got a line coming down here and I have a line coming down here and we're going to cut along these to slot in our CD. Now that we have our viewing window and the slot for our CD, what we want to do is seal up the top of this box. Before I do that, I'm gonna cut out this one short flap just here, right next to the slots that we made for our CD. This is gonna help everything fit in a lot nicer. So I'm going to be using some black duct tape. This is gonna make sure that we are able to seal up our cereal box and it's gonna stay shut, but also, helps us make sure that no extra light is going to come in. There we go, one thin bit up here as well. So there we go, that's all sealed up. We have our viewing window, we have a little place to put our CD, and we want it to slot in with that blank rainbowy side facing in towards our box. Next, we want to create a gap for light to come through and bounce and refract off of our CD surface. So we're going to do this on the opposite side that we've put our CD. About seven centimeters down from the top of the box, draw a rectangle about one centimeter long and one millimeter tall, as close to the center as you can. Next, ask an adult to use some sharp scissors to help you pierce a hole in the box and cut out the rectangle. Don't worry if you cut out the rectangle a little bit too big or it turns out lopsided. Our last step is gonna make sure that just enough light gets through. The next thing we want to do is to make this gap even smaller. We want a really tiny gap for that light to get through because it's gonna give us a clearer image of the light spectrum that we're gonna be seeing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm going to glue two small rectangles of tin foil. One above and one below with those edges just overlapping the edge of that slit we've made. So you can see I have the tin foil either side of that little slit right here. It almost looks like I've covered up completely but there's a teeny tiny gap for that light to get through to hit our CD on the other side. And there you have it, our cereal box spectroscope. The light can travel in through our gap here, refract off our CD and we can view the spectra through our viewing window. So let's go test it out. By pointing our spectroscope at a patch of bright sunlight reflecting off a wall or off the floor, we can see the colours that we have in our sunlight. What colours can you see? Test out your spectroscope by looking at different sources of light in your home. This could be different kinds of light bulbs, a street lamp outside, even the flame from a candle. We can do this by angling the slit we've made in the side of the box towards the light and looking in through the viewing window. Be sure never to point your spectroscope directly at the sun as this could hurt your eyes. Try looking at a patch of sunlight on a wall instead and you should be able to see all the colors from that sunlight. Thank you for tuning in to GSC at Home. If you tried this experiment, please share us pictures of your spectroscopes online. Let us know what you tested out. Let us know your results. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know on social media and we'll do our best to get back to you. Until next time, we'll see you soon with more science content and at-home experiments. Bye.